Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. <clears throat> I'm here to do the uh, weekly love reading for the Aries. This is going to be for May 11th, 2016. Um, and this is going to end May 16th, so it'll be a week, no I'm sorry, May 18th. Alrighty, so I'm just going to shuffle and this will be just a mini reading. It may not resonate for all of you Aries in your love life, um, but if it does, then definitely contact me for a personalized reading. Um, it's really important to contact me. Um, my readings resonate with a lot of you, so definitely um, if you feel like it does, it's usually a good idea to get a reading. All right, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle and we're gonna I'm gonna do a basic reading to see what's going on um, currently anything that we need to look at from the past and then also your future and this will be just a really quick five card spread just a forecast um, when you get a personalized reading you get a full reading all right I don't recommend 30 minute readings. I always recommend the one hour readings. You're gonna get a lot more out of the reading. Okay, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> cut the cards. All right, wonderful. So currently you got the Ace of Wands. And you know what this stands for is some sort of new beginning. Um, for some of you Aries, this week, you might be thinking that you're pregnant. Um, for some of you, you might, uh, if you're already with someone, I'm seeing that, you know, you may be contemplating getting pregnant. Um, or maybe you might even think you're pregnant. If you're single, um, it seems like there was um, recently someone that you met that you saw yourself in because the wands is all about self-identity, um, especially when it comes to that masculine energy because the wands is a masculine card or it's a mask. The wand is a masculine. Um, it's symbolic of masculine energy. So, um, you know, if you're single or just recently meet, met someone, um, I think that you're really seeing a lot in this person. Now, in the past, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Um, usually, this is a literal person in your life. Um, in this case, the Queen of Pentacles jives with the Ace of Wands, um, especially if you're Aries that just recently met someone in the past or, you know, in the recent past, I would say. And this person has the knowledge to hold on to a man or a woman. This person has the ability to possess things, um, to keep things, which is why she's the queen of pentacles. Um, this could stand for a man or a woman, um, depending on the situation. But um, this is a very stable person, okay, if you just recently met them. Um, what's crossing them in the past is the eight of pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is about, um, you know, manifestation and working hard to uh, create something. And um, so the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, someone paying attention to detail and taking pride in your work. So I can see this as being a very career-oriented person. Um, and this person is a hard worker. Um, now, there's a lot of different interpretations that, you know, I could get from the Eight of Pentacles, but let's just say that the Eight of Pentacles is a person that is headed for financial success. Um, it's really about, um, you know, um, learning some sort of new skill. So maybe there was a new career or maybe this person just recently graduated um, it was some sort of change in career. Um, in the future, 
you've got the three of pentacles. So this is some sort of collaboration with a third person. Um, it could be a spirit. I usually see some sort of triangulation whenever I get a three. It's not really the best sign for a lot of you. To be honest with you, the Three of Pentacles, it is a collaboration. It is a very positive card. But in a love reading, we see this as being a third party, some sort of triangulation. It's not balanced. I think that if you are already involved with someone, um, this probably came up sometime in January or December of last year. This person popped up. Now I'm going to be honest with some of you Aries. Your final card is the death card. So this is a transformation. Um, I'm going to interpret this two different ways because there are two different possibilities. Again, this is a general love reading. For some of you, um, I can see a separation, okay, from a person, especially with the Three of Pentacles coming up. You know, again, this is a really positive card, but in a love reading, I'm going to say that there's something that's off balance, okay? And I think that with death crossing in the future, I think that this could possibly signify a loss of a relationship. And the reason why is because it's the three. Now, I mean, personally, I think that the death card is not a, a bad card, depending on the surrounding card. So every card in your reading was pretty good. But I mean, the two cards that you got were in the past. We're going to look at the future because this is two different things. Okay. Some of you Aries your partners might be sick this week. I mean, the death card can mean many different possibilities. Um, it might mean some sort of secret love affair. So some of you are involved with someone already involved. Some of you though, are gonna discover some sort of secret about your partner, and it's gonna cause some sort of transformation in the relationship. Whether or not it's the, a breakup or not, I'm not sure. You know, I would have to look further. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, that is going to do it for this week for the Aries. Um, like I said, if you want a personalized reading, the link is in the video description box. You can conveniently book yourself your appointment. Um, I do charge a little bit extra for same day, sometimes same day appointments and within the hour readings are a little bit extra. Um, but I only charge 40 for my 30 minute reading. So that's actually pretty cheap. <laughs> I actually don't charge much for my readings because I know that people uh, want extra services whenever they come to me. Usually they do. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you uh, check out my 3000 subscriber giveaway. Okay, I will link the information for that in the video description box so you can win your bed of blood roses amulet. All right, thank you so much for watching. Namaste.